All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got a new product here that we haven't opened before. The Topps Heritage 2024 Baseball. I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to open any of this just because there is a lot of cards in this set. And uh, I like chrome. I like... Um, you know the shinier stuff, but I guess that's what you chase in this. Those are the those are the ones that you're looking for, and it's cool. They got it on the, uh, the I think 1975 design is what they did. But this uh, the hobby box is supposed to have um, a. an autograph or relic in each box um, you can get real on card autos triple autos um, they have the there's supposed to be three blue sparkles per oh that's per monster box sorry uh, so not this one uh, but there's like a top loader card on here too uh, that can be a myriad of different things I think like large cards or autographed large cards so we're just gonna see we're just gonna see what it's like um, I, I am well I'm not that old I'm not <laughs> I wasn't born in 75 but I also didn't collect when I was a kid in the 90s so I'm not really familiar with or um, That's cool. Bob Robertson, 50th, Tops 50th anniversary. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know. It doesn't look like that's an image variation. Normally it's got something that says it on there, but still a cool card. It doesn't look like a real auto. Well, uh, it might be a real 1975 card, I don't know. We'll have to check that out. Let's get the box popped up here like it's meant to be. And uh, let's just have some fun opening some baseball cards. That's what it's about, right? Let's see if we can get anything that's worth putting on the stand back there. They, uh, I know they changed some stuff with this set. They put the short prints in 1 through 100 instead of at the back like they used to. Johan Rojas. Scherzer. And Dansby. So let's see, we've got all the high number. And nothing in the low numbers there. The packs definitely have an old feel to them. That's for sure. Patrick Bailey. There's an Ellie. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Alec Thomas. Just because I'm a Diamondbacks fan. Is that a white border parallel? That looks sure does look like a white border parallel. Yeah. So right there. White border. Cool.
a whole new set. Sorry if I'm going slow. I just want to make sure that I'm seeing everything here. Some of the old school inserts. Curtis Mead. News flashbacks. Encarnacion Strand. Looks like we got something shiny back there. Kenha Grossman. There's a Julio. It's Oviedo. Kobe's pinch hit grain slam. Cool. Alright, what do we got here? We got somebody for the Mets. Numbered to 575. Nemo. That's cool. Or Brandon Nemo. That's pretty sweet. The refractor. So far, I'd say. That qualifies. Ooh, I do not have the right size top loaders. I think I need 55s for these. Whoops. I don't have any, so. We got 35s and then 100s and so. We'll get some and swap it out. Try to go a little faster here. It's cool. Nothing low numbered. Hope we get an auto instead of a relic. Oh, there's one. So this one is an image variation. I had a feeling that that one might be. So we'll throw this one down. That's a short print image variation. Or just a short print. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm not quite sure. I'm looking. I'm, I'm learning about this set still. This is going to take a lot. There's a lot of things going on here. Clark Schmidt, Pete Crow, Torkelson, Nolan Gorman, 89. Yes, there's another one. I had a feeling about that one too. Cool. Riley, Kevin Gaussman. Ooh, well, there it is. We got our relic. Eloy Jimenez. I 
do have top loaders for these. It's a game used bat, Eloy Jimenez. Too thick, but that's okay. Placeholder. For now, he goes on the stand. Baker. It's cool they put managers in these sets. Performers. That's a cool one. I think that was one of the one of the inserts. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, the 2023 World Series card. Where'd that go? That's cool. There's one Diamondbacks World Series card in here. Oh, Merrill Kelly. Hope I pull one of those. This. CJ Chrome. There's another one of those New Age Performers. Arenado, those are cool. Just about halfway through here. Seven. That's cool. Mickey Mantle and Hank Aaron. It's a pretty sweet card. Well, if you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. That would really help me out to try and grow this channel just a little bit. To try and uh, to support itself. I have virtually no subscribers right now, so anything is a step in the right direction. Alec Bohm. Leave a comment whether or not you like me or like the rip or enjoy these cards or not. Tell me how you feel about it. A good amount of the uh, short prints there. It's pretty nice. Still haven't seen any of those blue sparkle variations. Taiwan. There's Corbin. Heck yeah. Performers, Christian Yelich, Carlos Rondon. This one's an image variation. You can see it there, it says image above the number. That's cool. Uh, 
This is going to be a short film by the time I'm done, but you know, we're just enjoying the hobby, guys. That's what it's about, right? Brian De La Cruz. Brandon Drury. I think the, uh, the combo when he was on the uh, Yankees Judge and Drury, that was one of the cooler, uh, one of the cooler um, collaboration type things they've had. It's pretty neat. Fletcher. Ooh, black border. That's neat. That would be a variation. Even though it's black, it says white border on it. They messed up while they were printing these. It's cool. Solaire, Soderstrom, ooh, there we go, New Age Performers of Shohei. Still haven't decided whether or not these are for me or not. They're not nostalgic for me because I didn't open cards when I was a kid, so the the look really isn't really isn't doing it for me, you know. Yeah. There's another one, Chris Stratton. The last, last stack of packs here. Junior Caminero, it's a good one. Slade for the D-backs. Mike Schmidt and Roger Clemens, that's cool. The 1986 MVPs. Another white border. Hey, we've gotten tons of image variations. This is pretty neat. Throw a and arrow in this sleeve here. Soriano, Abbott, those are cool, there's Cattell, awesome, and old champions, the end, game 7 NLCS, Corbin Carroll, that's pretty cool. New Age performers, Francisco Lindor.
There's Lawler. Very nice. Pulpy. Second year. It's cool. There's another one of the World Series cards. Yeah, Brendan Rogers. Byron Buxton. That's cool. Reed Detmers. Jeff McNeil. Casas. Eovaldi. Right. Variation of Eovaldi. Or short print. Spencer Strider. Man, sad ending to his his year this year. Ben and now Johnny Bench and Kyle Tucker. That's cool. What we got in that one? All right, last pack. So yeah, fun again. Would be the SP there. All right, so. Let's see, the two big ones, the Eloy Jimenez bat relic there, and then the Brandon Nemo to 575 refractor. Those are cool. And then the other ones, got the Junior Caminero um, rookie card. It's just, you know, good rookie out of the set. And then the white borders and one black border. And then this was the topper, Bob Robertson, 50th anniversary tops. I think this is a legit 1975 tops chewing gum card that they put as the topper. It feels, I mean, the, these cards are rigid, even though they're cardboard, and this thing is flimsy. So I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna look that up, see what's going on there. Um, let's see what else. I don't think there was too much. We got the Ellie rookie. That's a big one, and then a bunch of uh, a bunch of the SPs. And then the Freddie Freeman image variation. So I'm not sure. Um, you know, the set doesn't have a lot of uh, shiny things to look at. It doesn't seem like, but it's. It's got some inserts and some cool stuff from the past. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but we'll decide. If I decide I like it, you'll see more. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one.